Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Playing Coder YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve problem number 155, minimum stack. So this is a really good interview problem and uh, you should try to solve this problem as if you are uh, doing this problem in interview setting. So let's uh, go through the problem statement uh, quickly. So it says uh, design a stack that supports push, pop, top and retrieving the minimum element in constant time. Okay, so implement the minimum stack class. Okay, they have given us the class. Uh, we need to implement these APIs, this constructor and these four uh, methods, push, pop, top, get minimum. Okay. So the behavior of each of them is given here. A minimum stack initializes the stack object, push uh, push an element value onto the stack, and the pop removes the element on the top of the stack. And then there are the pop, removes the element on top of the stack, top gets the top element of the stack and get minimum retrieves the minimum element of the stack. We'll go through this example uh, in some time. Let's go through the constraints first. So it says uh, each value could have a maximum and minimum range from 2 to the power 31 in negative to 2 to the power 31 minus 1 in positive. So he just wants to say that uh, input is sufficient to code uh, the contents. The methods pop top get name operations will always be called on non empty stack. Okay. So underflow conditions uh, you might uh, can skip because they won't be checking whether you are you have handled underflow or not. So at most 3 into test power 4 calls will be made to push pop top and get minimum. Okay. So why this constraint is given? 3 into test power 4 calls. So, what we can do is let's uh, start discussing the solution of which, right? So let's uh, get to our whiteboard. Okay. So minimum stack. Okay. So we need to implement uh, this uh, class minimum stack, right? So let's discuss the approaches first. Okay, so first approach is you can use uh, Java collections or uh, uh, STL in case of uh, CPP. And what you can do is you can have a stack of pair of int, comma int. And uh, what you can do is that you can keep the value here and uh, the minimum till that point here. So this is a fine solution. Like in if this question comes in online tests, online tests then this is a good solution. Like you can quickly code this and make sure that all the API works and submit that quickly. But in interview setting, the interviewer might say that uh, you can't use uh, collections or STL. So this is not allowed. So what would you do in that case? So in that case, we are forced to go back to our basics. Like we need to think about some conventional data structures uh, which can help solving these problems. So two basic data structures come to our mind. First, first is array. And the second one is uh, linked list. Okay, so frankly speaking, you can use any of these two data structures and both would be fine. And since in the constraints, it's even that at most three to transfer four calls will be made. So assuming all the pushes are made, uh, first all the three to transfer four are push calls. Three into 10 to power four are push calls. So you need an array of size three into 10 to power four. And uh, you can take an array of uh, pairs. Okay, so Likewise, you can take an array of pairs. So each array would have two things. Each node of this array would have each index of this array would have two things. One would be the minimum till that point, and the second one would be actual element at that point. Okay, minimum actual element, minimum actual element, and so on and so forth. This is zero index, the first index, the second index. This is third index. While this is a good solution, the problem with the array approach is that we are taking the size as three to ten to the four. Like interviewer might argue that you are allocating this much space upfront in advance, while you might not be required this much space in most of the test cases. You are actually wasting space uh, in some of the test cases in which you don't require that amount of space. So a better solution is actually using linked list. So let's see how we are going to use a linked list for this solution. Okay. So what we can do is that we can create a linked list node as something like this. Okay. So its uh, node would have a uh, first part as the uh, a value, then second part would be minimum value, and third part would be the next pointer, node, next. Okay, so what we what what we'll do is that since we need to implement all these APIs in O of one, what we'll do is that uh, we'll uh, start from the head pointer, and let's uh, simulate this test case. Okay. Assuming we want to simulate this test case. Okay, first push of minus two happens. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll push uh, minus two to head. So the element is minus two. So minimum at this point is also minus two. Okay, so next pointer is null right now. 
So this would be the state till this API push. Then again, push happens with zero. So what I I do is I uh, what I do is so uh, I uh, move the head pointer to the new nodes. Okay, I move the head pointer to new node, which would point to this old node, and this would be null. This would be minimum of uh, zero. And minus two is minus two, so this would be minus two, and my head would be pointing here. Okay, this would be the state till now. So let's see the next API, which is push again with minus three. Okay, so for minus three, we will again uh, make a new node with the minus three as element. Okay, minus three as element, and minimum of minus three and minus two is minus three. So this would be the state till here, and I. Move the head pointer to start. Okay. So this is my state till now. Let's see the next API. Uh, get minimum. Okay. So what get minimum should return? So get minimum would return the minimum from the head. So minimum from the head is this value. It will directly return this value. So minimum would be minus three. This is correct. It's showing minimum as minus three. It's fine. And then uh, pop happens. So for pop, what we can do is uh, we'll just move head pointer to the next node. Okay. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just move the head pointer to next node. So that would be pointing here. What happens in Java is that this node would be eligible for automatic garbage collection. But if you are using C or CPP, you need to feed this node to yourself. So that's the difference. Okay. So now uh, I can even erase this node. Okay. So this is my state till now. Top has happened. Now top. What top would return? Top would return at zero. Okay. Top is returning zero. Top is returning zero. Right. So top would return this value, which is zero. Okay. Now there is the last call, which is get minimum, and get minimum would return this value, which is minus two. Okay. So that's the algorithm which we would be following in our push pop top and get minimum APIs. I hope you got a feel of uh, what we would be doing in these uh, functions. So now let's quickly see the. Code which we will be using. Basically, we are using a singly linked list uh, with the uh, two data fields instead of one, which is uh, get minimum and minimum. So let's try to write the code for that. Okay. okay let's start. So we will have a class. This class has minimum stack. This is even close. Stack. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to make a nested class for our linkage data structure. Okay, so we are going to have a node class. Inside this node, we are going to have uh, three parameters mainly in value, int minimum value, and node next. This is the parameter which will be pointing to the next node in the linkage data structure. So this is our uh, node class. Let's also include a constructor. Node int value int minimum value. One more parameter. Let's include that as the next. Okay. So let's bind all these parameters to our number variables in class. So this dot value equals to value. This dot minimum value is equals to minimum value. And this dot next is equals to next. This is a constructor which will help us making the new node. So this is our node class complete. So let's uh, start coding our APIs. So the head pointer which, was, which we were earlier assuming, let's uh, take that as a member variable of the new set class. Node head. Okay. Let's code our first API, uh, which is the constructor, I think. Public minimum stack. Okay. So this is quite simple. You can just uh, take head and make it point to null. This is our constructor. Okay, I should need to first let off the constructor capital. Okay. So this you can do. Now let's code our push API. So in push, we are simply inserting to the head of the linked list while also maintaining the minimum value in that node which we are looking for. So 
point push in x. So if that is null, this is the first non local interest. What we can do is we can insert the new node in our constructor which we need. X would also be X and X would be null. Okay. Now the else case we can go. Okay. So for else case, now we already have some nodes in our list. So we are basically inserting at the head of the list. And we need to also maintain the next point of the node which we have inserted. Okay. So for regarding minimum value, there could be two scenarios. Either uh, the incoming value would be minimum or the already existing value would be minimum. So accordingly, we handle that in this. Yes. At dot minimum value is less than x, then we can make a node temp equals to new node. So x minimum is going to be this one only at dot minimum value. And the last parameter would be at actually. So now let's point the head to the new node. The first step. Let's uh, close this uh, block of it and let's also write the else case. So in this case, uh, the incoming element is only minimum one. So we are directly putting that here. And next, we need to modify the head also. Since if else contains this redundant uh, statement, we can take this out of uh, if else block if required. Otherwise, it's also fine. We write head equals to here. Okay. That's uh, push code which uh, we have written. Okay. Let me write uh, the other APIs also quickly. Other APIs are really very small. One thing change. We'll just write them here. Okay. So next API is uh, pop. Pop. Okay. So pop. What we need to do is we just need to move the head pointer one position forward using the next pointer. We'll do something like head to be close to head dot next. So that's a pop function. Let's also write top function. So that would value is actually the top. Also easy. And only one function is left, which is uh, get minimum. That is also straightforward. Okay, so we just need to return the head dot minimum. Okay, so all the APIs are complete, I think. These are all the APIs which are required to be coded. So let's discuss the time complexity trade off ones of each API. So if we talk about push, so we are just modifying the pointer, there are no loops involved. So push time complexity is of one. Let's change the color. So push time complexity is O of one only. And uh, let's uh, analyze the space complexity of push, which is also O of one because uh, we are not using any extra space. Of one, of one. So let's uh, discuss other APIs also. So for pop, so for pop, our time complexity is uh, of one only, and space complexity is also one. For top, again, time complexity is of one, and space complexity is of one. And for get minimum, it's also same. Both are of one. Okay. So overall, time complexity is O of 1 and space complexity is O of 1 as well. So let me quickly write this solution in lead code terminal and let's uh, see if uh, everything works fine as we have seen in this tutorial. Okay, okay so the code I have just uh, finished uh, writing as we have discussed on the whiteboard. So let's execute it. This seems to be fine. What we have 
got really good run time. So thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't for more such interview type of problems. So thanks a lot.